Thank you, Anna. And what I'll do, if Anna allows me, is to share my screen because it will be a PowerPoint presentation, although I know that's a dying breed for some. Uh, excuse me while I get my uh, head around things. Yeah. Okay. Can you see that? Yes, uh, but it's not okay from the beginning. Why is it not holding up? I'm not sure. There we are. Yeah, here it is. But we good, good. There is one person on this platform who knows a bit about this. So, uh, Kermit, good to see you, and uh, it'll be interesting for you to give me some feedback on, on, on the above. Um, Fraser Hay, Dave Seaton, and Haim Taylor, I hope I have pronounced those correctly. Hope you're all well. Um, my name is Bayer Ego. I am a coach. Um, figuratively speaking, one would say I'm an executive coach or business coach, and I work in those realms. And I've also been a judge um, at the Judge Club um, and the J Awards International. And, and done other unrelated things. And speaking with Anna, we sort of decided, okay, Bay, you've done a lot of these things for Awards International. What about what you actually do on a day-to-day -day basis? Do you have a presentation? And I said, mm -mm, yes, I do. Um, and it's about small businesses. I work with a number of businesses, small, large, depends what your definition is. But probably alongside with Kermit, timelines might be different. I... I started to realize, particularly after the, or during the pandemic, that a number of my clients were missing something. Coaching can be quite cerebral. Coaching can be quite over your heads. And during that very difficult time, I began to realize that some of the businesses wanted to a bit more than just be motivated, find clarity, direction, purpose, and support. Sometimes they want to touch, feel, and see what it is they were doing particularly the smaller businesses, the ones that were struggling and probably didn't have systems and processes in place to ensure their, fry, their sustainability or fiveability. So I did my own desktop research um, and started to look at how, where I was learned, taught how to coach um, and other coaching um, mediums, what was out there to support them. And I was looking for something around systems and processes what was there to help small businesses and me coach? Um, because of my schooling of coaching, I'm considered to be a pure coach uh, and not a consultant, not a therapist, not a counselor, obviously. But as a coach, I still felt there's ways I could support small businesses. So without any further ado, I came across Systems Business Coach, um, put together by an amazing woman called Beverly Ramonson who is now a coach and a mentor to me. And what she's put together is this thing called Organized and Profitable, Coaching for Small Business Owners. So the next few slides will go through that. I'm happy for you to stop and ask questions. I can see some of you on my right-hand side in the screen, but Anna will pick up anything in the chat room for me. And obviously there's an opportunity for Q&A at the end. But I do try to make these inclusive, as I say, um, Pitch decks, PowerPoints are probably a dying art and it's more about engagement verbally. But let's see how I go. So how to thrive in chaotic times. Some people would say, what chaotic times? We're past that, we're moving on. But are we really? Because, I mean, I'm a business owner my, of, of my own, of myself, pretty young, seven, five years in. But what I have discovered, um, I'll give a bit of background for myself. I worked in social housing in London for a number of local authorities and housing associations and ran a number of small business units. And whatever you think or whatever you say, life is about peaks and troughs, ups and downs, trials, um, trials and tribulations. And it's how you manage those peaks and troughs. It's how you get through those that you know, determines whether you can survive and therefore thrive. So for me, thriving chaotic times is really as important equal more important than the good times because it's in the bad times that you start to set yourself apart and start to think about where do you want to move forward to and with that is a look at what your threats and opportunities are i think throughout the course of coaching um, individuals and small business owners do they have a plan what does that plan look like how they come about that plan does that plan align with their vision with their values and their purpose but more importantly, 
Is it something that they actually review, evaluate, and monitor periodically, dare I say frequently? Um, a few scratches of the heads here and nodding and touching of cheeks. Can I ask you out there, <laughs> when you set up your businesses or work, when you work with businesses, did you have a plan in the beginning? Who wants, who wants to come up with an answer to that first? Don't be shy now. I could pick on someone's name. I can see you. Go on, Kermit. Help me out. Well, for I, I, I mean, just in that, I didn't really know where to start. I mean, so the, the interesting thing about coaching is uh, if you're coaching a Fortune 10 CEO or you're coaching someone just off the street, a lot of times it's the same issues they're dealing with. It's just a different context or perspective. So when you come in from the business perspective, there's a whole nother layer that comes in because they're worried about how do we how do I make payroll? How do I fix this issue? How do I deal with this? Oh, I've got that one headache that's taking place. So there's this ongoing issue that takes place for them. And sometimes you don't know where to start because it, it can be overwhelming. And so having a system like this and being able to identify like what's your key threat or your key opportunity helps to to zero in, I think. Um, but for me in the beginning, it was it was kind of a hodgepodge and I had to I had to find a system in place to actually work through issues in a, in a manner that made sense to me and to the person I was trying to help. Yeah, thanks for that contribution, uh, Kermit. Like you good yourself. I mean, I had a plan in my head. I knew where I wanted to go. I have dreams. In fact, I was walking home with um, school run with the boys thinking about that big dream. Um, I want to, uh, my dream is to open a school and um, it's called the School of an Enablement. Um, I'm a coach, but I think as a coach, I want to enable people. So that's the great goal. That's the dream. But what was my plan to get there? And I don't think I had one when I started a business five years ago. But what's happened since is you identify the threats and opportunities and you start to think about how best to work around them. So as I said, um, I've been coaching probably since 2000. I got my first qualification around 2002, 2003. In my previous life, um, um, at various levels in social housing, public sector work. And um, 2016, 17, I set up my own business, coaching. And in around December, January of this year, I became an accredited certified systems business coach, like my friend Kermit there. I want to explain to you what that means in essence. As I said, before then, I think my, my service, my delivery to my clients was good, but there was something missing in my toolbox. And that was, and I'll explain to you what that was in due course. So this is really what we look at. This is really what we work on. Um, I hope it can be seen. Um, I will spend some time on this. Um, it is the mastermind of Beverly, Beverly Robinson. And if you think about anything that you manage, run, deliver, in terms of business, or be it public sector, third sector, voluntary sector, some of these elements exist. Finance, financial element, operations, marketing, um, excuse me, I've gone a bit too far there just to keep you, keep on a living playing field. And also teamwork. How do you put the teams together? And in the middle, and I'll explain that, is leadership. Um, I was delivering a peer-to-peer -peer masterclass yesterday and we were talking about leadership, difference between leadership and management. But leadership being key in terms of how and what you want to do to enable all the other factors to work together. So if you look at the, the, this game board, and it's not a game board that we play with, but it, ideally it is a signposting of the things that we believe are necessary to run an effective business. And below that are 52 different competencies that we will use with our clients to engage them on journey in relation to how and what they see as their business functioning. So let's take finance, for example. Reward, how do you remunerate yourself and others? Debt, how do you manage debt? How do you manage or foresee debt? How do you uh, work debt into your, in your advantage? Funding as a startup or a CIC, as we have in this country. Tax implications, are you prepared for tax? Do you understand the difference? There's tactic implications, legislation, depending on where you're working and how you're working. Capital is king. Is, and, and, and when I use these terms, it's not just we're just going to discuss these terms. As a coach, business coach, they were easily discussed. But what I found was some of my clients didn't necessarily have the tools for, for uh, marketing. Uh, 
And as um, the presentation follows through, we'll show you some ideas about how we work with that. But leadership in the middle um, talks about how you set your values and your goals. And I think it's very important to also think about the purpose in relation to the family and your health. If you think about where we are in the last three years, your, your physical well-being, mental, spiritual, emotional well-being are key factors to you running a successful business. How you communicate, how you manage change within the business, external to the business. And as I said yesterday in the seminar that I was giving, trust. As a leader, how are you building trust? Where are you building trust? Do you necessarily need a system or process to build trust? Probably not. But actually, that can underpin in everything that you do moving forward. Are there any questions about what you see here in terms of the board?